Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. Um, today's video, we're going to touch on Wellbutrin XL side effects. If you enjoy this video, thumbs up, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. So Wellbutrin is also known by the generic name Bupropion. So they're both available in the XL formulation, which is the once a day formulation. Now it's important that you understand how it works in the body because it's going to help you understand possible side effects. So the way Wellbutrin acts is it blocks the reuptake of norepinephrine and dopamine. So explain that a little bit. What Basically what we have is when norepinephrine, which is a, basically adrenaline, and, and the dopamine, which is one of our feel-good hormones, that's floating around in the body. Okay. Now what will happen is it'll, your body will take that back up into its system for when it needs it again. Well, butrin blocks essentially the body from re taking it back in or doing that reuptake process, which means the end result is you're going to have more norepinephrine and dopamine floating around in the blood um, that can act in the body. And again, if it's adrenaline and kind of a feel good hormone, you're going to this the side effects that we see make a lot more sense. So the same thing. And by the way, Wellbutrin does produce a metabolite, kind of a byproduct. It acts in the same way. So I don't know if that's necessarily important for you, but uh, it does. So side effects. The main one that you're going to see, and it makes a ton of sense now that you know how it works, is insomnia. The range is wide, again, because of multiple studies, different subsets of people, and these aren't exact numbers. Just know that it's a range. It can fall. It can fall into that. So they've seen it anywhere from 11 to 40 percent of people. So that can be problematic for some people. Headache, 25 to 34 percent. Agitation, as low as 2 percent, 32 percent. Some of the numbers that you see are interesting. Um, dry mouth, again when you have more norepinephrine or adrenaline floating around in your system, that's your fight or flight hormone, um, it shuts down your parasympathetic nervous system. So a lot of your digestive functions get shut down when you have more norepinephrine because it's, it's a wild example, but if you see a bear in the woods, your initial reaction is, I'm scared, I'm gonna run, so your body is not worried about taking care of digestive functions. It's not worried about quieting you down to go to sleep. So again, the dry mouth can be problematic and constipation. Again, these sorts of functions in your body, don't, they don't get shut down, but they get lessened. And again, I'm using extreme examples just to drive home the point of what norepinephrine does in the body. So constipation, dry mouth, um, headache and insomnia are some, some big ones that you see. Now, because of some of the digestive functions, people ask all the time, particularly when it comes to antidepressants, am I going to gain weight on this? And actually, if, if somebody's really concerned about weight gain, well, butrin is a good one to use because you tend to see the opposite. Um, you actually see weight loss in 14 to 23% of people. It really just with Wellbutrin, what I find is a lot of people use it, but it depends on if they're going to experience some of these side effects. Because if, if you're one of the folks that falls into this category of experiencing some of these side effects, they tend to get off it right away. But again, it's a very popular drug used in a lot of folks. So uh, it is very well tolerated despite what they've seen in studies. So just keep in mind that if, if weight gain is a concern, Wellbutrin is a good one to use. So, um, so we have Wellbutrin XL side effects. Again, any uh, questions, comments, drop them underneath the video. I'll do my best to uh, answer those. And until the next video, we'll uh, see you then.